Most of us are aware that excessive exposure to ultraviolet light can cause cataracts, but the effects of too much exposure to blue light are less well known. This video is intended to heighten the awareness of the blue light hazard and should be of interest to anybody who works around bright lights, especially bright blue lights. It is known that acute or chronic exposure to blue light can increase the risk of macular degeneration and that's something that nobody wants. Dental curing lights are used to harden white fillings in the mouth and to bond orthodontic brackets onto teeth. These curing lights produce a very bright light in the 400 to 500 nanometer range and the blue LED curing lights can deliver an intense band of blue light between 430 and 470 nanometers. Maximum daily exposure limits to blue light have been published in most countries for example by the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists and by the British Standards Institution. So if you want to save your eyes and reduce your risk of macular degeneration, what do you need to know? The first thing you need to find out is the spectral emission from the light source that you are using to see if you are even at risk. Here we can see that the maximum blue light hazard occurs at about 440 nanometers and this is very close to the maximum output from LED dental curing lights. LED headlamps, commonly used by doctors and dentists, also emit a lot of light in the 440 nanometer range. Although we and several others have published articles on the potential ocular hazards posed by bright lights in the workplace, the extent of any blue light hazard to the doctor, assistant or patient is really unknown. Much more research is required to determine the practical extent of this hazard and also to determine the best type of eye protection that should be used. In the meantime, this message is for anybody who uses magnification combined with a bright light. Remember your mother told you to never look at the sun through binoculars. But many dentists, doctors and jewelers are using magnification loops to better see what they're doing. For example, look what's happening here by looking at a brightly illuminated region through magnification loops. In doing so, they may unwittingly be exposing their eyes to an excessive amount of blue light. We have conducted a preliminary study using four different brands of loops. We found that the loops increase the irradiance delivered to the eye by some three to seven times. This result is completely expected. As a practical demonstration, Look at what happens when you look at a dental curing light through one of these loops. See how the bright blue light is focused onto a spot full of wavelengths around 440 nanometers. And remember, this is focused right onto your retina. We see the same effect with a different pair of loops, except that this time the result is a larger, less intense spot. Now we shall shine this light onto a photochromatic disc. See how the light is focused onto the disc and when the loops are moved away, you can see a spot on the disc where the light was very bright. This spot is equivalent to where the bright light was focused onto your retina. There is one very easy solution. All you have to do is use the proper and appropriate eye protection. Taking oral supplements may help to delay or prevent macular degeneration from occurring, but until more research is done in this area, and we know much more about the extent of the blue light hazard, the best thing to do is to protect yourself, your staff and your patients from the blue light. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.